Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees and the Real Life Health Show. And here I am in front of Jack. This is Jack Fruit. I don't know if they named it after somebody named Jack. Actually, they should call it the bubblegum fruit because it tastes like bubblegum. Those of you that have tried this will agree. But the question or the thing I want to talk about today is two things. Number one, how to actually cut into one of these. But more important, when you're planting a jackfruit tree, how many should you plant? Because it's a big tree. And if you have a big yard, you can plant many trees. But if you only have a small space, how many jackfruit trees do you actually need? Well, I've already took two jackfruits off this tree that were 25 pounds each. And there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's about 15, 16 left on here. So, how much jackfruit can somebody eat? Unlike other things like avocados and and, and many other things that have different varieties and different seasons, jackfruit, uh, at least where I am, has a primarily similar season, the same season. And there are different varieties, but the seasons are pretty short and together. So the question is, do you really need more than one jackfruit when you're planting out your yard or planting out your yard? And I have a limited space for trees and I was looking at my trees and thinking of how many trees I have that are more than one of the same kind. And when it comes to jackfruit, jackfruit might be the winner. Of course, other than mangoes. Mangoes, I got like 50 mangoes. Other than mangoes, jackfruit might be the winner because you have, I have one, two, I think maybe six off the top of my head. You don't need six jackfruit trees. My neighbor decided he had three big ones. He cut one out, now he has two. And on these two alone, there must be 40 jackfruits. And they're gonna ripen at the same time. You don't need more than one or two jackfruit trees. If you want different varieties, that might be another story. So maybe two, you could have two different varieties. If you wanna to try to find an off-season one, maybe there's some off-season ones, but for the most part, uh, two jackfruit trees should be more than enough. Myself, I not only do I have different uh, trees, I have two of the same variety. That's how crazy it is. I just want to see which one grows better, but I don't recommend you doing that. Uh, and mine seems to, uh, the black gold one seems to ripen a little bit later than these. So that might be a good one. You know, you kind of want to catch them at different times. But my neighbor has an Excalibur Red and a Bangkok Lemon, and they seem to be doing it at the same time. Uh, I had. I Excalibur Red last year off season that actually came in the winter time. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, when it comes to fruit trees, one or two of the same fruit should be enough other than mangoes, of course, because there's so many amazing varieties and it's such a great tree that it grows so easy. Uh, if you have space, go plant 10 or 20 jackfruit trees. But if you have a limited space, uh, one or two jackfruit trees should be enough. I'm going to show you now, uh, how to cut open one of these jackfruits. Now, it's not really growing a tree, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to cut into a jackfruit, what I have found to be the best way, all right? So put your comment the question below, how many jackfruit varieties have you tasted and how many trees do you have? And also, if you have a small yard, don't buy a jackfruit seedling because they might turn out amazing, but they might turn out not amazing. They're supposed to be close to seed, not true to seed. And I've known people that planted seeds and they got similar jackfruit but i know people that planted seeds and they got jackfruit that tasted nothing like it they weren't even good so you want to play it safe and we don't need new varieties the varieties they have are wonderful get a grafted one all right i'll put a link below the video where to get grafted uh, jackfruit trees uh and i have other videos which ones i recommend but now here's how to cut into one of these wonderful jackfruits hello everybody welcome i am here with some jackfruit and I know some of you on this channel are experts at jackfruit, but some of you aren't. So I wanted to show you how I cut jackfruit. And I am telling you, I have found the best way to do it. Some jackfruits are known not to be sticky and have latex and just cut open real easily. Usually the softer jackfruits from what I find, they peel open very easily and they're easy to open. But some of them are very sticky, have a lot of latex and they're very difficult. Uh, you'll really mess up a knife. If you do that, so uh, some tips and some suggestions. So uh, 
the first thing is don't use the knife you like. It's, it's going to get messed up. So one of the first things you should do is just take olive oil or coconut oil and put it on the knife before you do anything. That's the number one most important tip. Another important tip is wear gloves. These are surgical medical gloves or cleaning gloves, whatever you want to call them. Wear gloves. I promise you that tip will, you'll bless me for it later. So wear gloves. Now, this one, uh, this jackfruit is amazing. This is an Excalibur red jackfruit. My neighbor has a couple of trees. I have a black gold, which is a softer variety. This is a crunchy variety. So the end result is going to be something like this. And it's on the harder side. It's not really a crunchy, but it is a crunch. It's still soft. It almost has the consistency of a cantaloupe, I guess. Uh, but it's not, it's not soft, but it's not like hard, like crunchy hard. But they call it crunchy jackfruit because some jackfruit is very soft literally melts in your mouth. Uh, so basically, uh, I cut the jackfruit into fours, and this is the end of the jackfruit, uh, and you just cut it down the middle. If you know how to cut a pineapple, same way, right down the middle, and then, uh, so then I had the middle, and then I cut this side. So I'm gonna show you now how do I do it. I got my gloves, so I'm not worried about my hands. So this core in the middle, now this is all latex here, and this is quite sticky. On some varieties, if you pick it too soon, it's going to have latex. But this variety was picked at the perfect time. It still has latex. That's just how it is with jackfruit. So uh, I got my gloves. So I'm not concerned. So we want to separate these pods or these from the core here. And it's very hard and to dig them out. But So we're going to cut it right down the middle there. And now... If you see the core here, we're gonna, almost like a pineapple, cut out the core. Now these, then there's a core, that's just waste, nothing. And the seeds here, you can use the seeds if you wanna roast the seeds. You could actually roast the seeds. Uh, they taste like chestnuts. But now here we go. So here's the, the, re, the remainder here. And once we took that core out of the middle, whoops, it comes out pretty simply. So the only thing is, now this, there's, it, there's no sticky stuff on this. It came out pretty simply, uh, but there is a seed in the middle. If you want to take the seed out, you could. I'll leave that for later. And you see these little fibers here. The jackfruit is not connected to that. The fibers are connected to the jackfruit. But that, and once you get the core out, it, it's easy from there. Once you get the core out. And you can actually eat these. Fibers, they're just fiber, but they don't really have a flavor to them. But I try to move as much of it as possible. With the seed still in there, that's in there. Now remember, when I cut the core, some of the jackfruit was still left on the core because that's the part that's stuck to the jackfruit and what makes it so hard to get out. So, and there you go. And then you could save the seeds. So there you go. And again, I'll show you. And again, I'm not concerned about my hands. I'm more concerned about my knife. <laughs> That's why you want to have a dedicated just jackfruit knife only. Here's one with the seed taken out. You can go right in there. And I won't have to spend a lot of time washing my hands later. And I learned doing this when I used to go to California. I used to see how they used to cut it. And they always used to have these gloves on. And they would sit there and all day, and that's what they did. They just cut jackfruit. So, again, perfect. So, jackfruit can be a very messy situation, but it doesn't have to be. So, that's how you cut jackfruit. And, and you can put that in a fridge, or you can eat that, or whatever need be. All right, I hope that tip helped. I promise you. These gloves and putting the oil on a knife are two important tips. If you have comments or questions or if you cut jackfruit open different, let me know. And until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.